Thank you, Andreas. My name is Yorgos Fufas, and I'm head of business development at Exeger. I'm a gadget freak. So I have a work tablet, a phone in my pocket, always, new iPhone. Uh, I have a Samsung Ultrabook at work. I have another tablet at home. And as every gadget freak, I have a fitness tracker, which measures how many steps I take per day, my pulse, how much I sleep. So what do all these things have in common? Well, they're premium products, the design is very important, and they always seem to run out of battery when you need them the most. So you have cables at home, cables at work, cables in your car, cables in your bag, cables everywhere, and most of the time, well, it's a big mess. At Exeter, we have a solution for this. We have invented a new solar cell which works indoor, which can give your device eternal life. So this is a self-charging e-reader, one of our first prototypes. We have done this by seamlessly integrating the solar cell into the device. So uh, our solar cell doesn't have the traditional silver lines that ordinary solar cells has. So the design possibilities are endless. We produce it using screen printing. So we can print on plastic or metal foil. We do this in the largest factory in the world for screen printed solar cells. We have no toxic materials and no toxic emissions. And this is why we are located in the city center of one of the most beautiful cities in the world, Stockholm. So we started with two people in 2009. We're now 50. So what started in the kitchen of our founder, Giovanni Fili, is now a big factory. So in the picture, you see the largest solar cell in the world. Uh, we also have, as I already mentioned, the largest factory for these kind of solar cells. We have the world's best indoor solar cell. And we now have three signed cooperation agreements where we produce prototypes together with customers. So developing a new solar cell is very Takes, it costs a lot of money, uh, and it takes a lot of time. So funding is, of course, very important. So in the beginning, we received money from the Swedish state through Vinova and the Swedish Energy Agency, and our founder also put his private capital in. Uh, later on, when uh, we decided to build the first factory, uh, we again received money from the Swedish Energy Agency and the European Union, together with investors. So in November 2014, we uh, had the first production tests in Stockholm. In total, we have raised now above 30 million pounds. So the last tranche we closed uh, earlier this year, just before the summer, uh, where we took in another 10 million. So now we're planning on the next factory. Uh, it's supposed to be much, much bigger than the one we currently have, and we are now in talks with European Investment Bank and several investors. So, in 2014, we proved a production capacity of 20,000 square meter. Now we're up at 200,000, actually 300,000, depending on the number of shifts. And the next one is going to be really big, 10 million square meter per year. Thank you.